In Climate Watch, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration has released its State of the Climate report for August. The data shows that this summer was more than two degrees above normal, making it one of the warmest ever on record. The report also found the amount of climate disasters that occurred in the United States this summer was abnormal. For more, I want to bring in CBS News meteorologist and climate specialist Jeff Berardelli. Jeff, the report says this summer is tied with the Dust Bowl summer of 1936. How significant mm -hmm. is that? Very significant. That was an extraordinarily hot summer, and it was man-made. The reason why it was so hot it was caused by humans. Farmers had gotten rid of all the native grass because a lot of the farmers that were moving into that area during that time uh, didn't have a lot of experience farming. So they wiped out all the native grass and just left dirt behind. And that dirt would absorb a lot of the sun's rays and really, really heat it up. And also it created tremendous dust storms, which in many cases were deadly dust storms. So let's talk about what happened this summer and we'll talk about 1936 as well. So for June, July and August, it was the hottest on record across the West and one of the hottest on record in the upper Midwest and in the Northeast. And it, it beat out the summer of 1936 by a sliver. So it's the hottest summer on record. You can see temperatures were about five degrees above normal across the West, but slightly below normal here near the Gulf Coast. That's because it was very rainy. And this is what climate change does, right? It makes uh, the rich richer and the poor poorer. And what I mean by that is uh, where places that typically see a lot of rain, they got more rain. Places like Mississippi and Alabama, it was the wettest on record for them. And that wet air and all that rainfall extended to the Great Lakes and Northeast, where we already have a surplus of rain typically. But across the Plain States and most parts of the West, it was generally a fairly uh, dry summer. The exception to that was an exceptional monsoon in Arizona where it rained a lot, actually. Uh, areas of Mississippi and Alabama had 10 inches above their normal rain for the summer. It caused a lot of flooding up and down the eastern seaboard. So this was the Dust Bowl summer of 1936. You notice that temperatures got above 110 degrees across such a large part of the country in the Plain States into the Midwest as well. In fact, this is an incredible, incredible stat when you think about it. 25% of all heat records in our record, which goes back 100, 150 years, they were broken in that one year. That's how hot it was in 1936. And you can see we saw extreme heat 40 to 50 days or so. And again, the reason for that was also man-made. This time, it's a different type of man-made climate change. It's greenhouse gases, which are trapping the heat, which is caused by the burning of fossil fuels. But either way, it was a disaster. That was a disaster year, and we've seen a lot of disasters mm. so far this year. Absolutely. Before I let you go, Jeff, there's a lot of extreme weather that's occurring right now around the globe. What more can you tell us? So let's talk about the smoke this weekend, because you're going to notice it not only across the West, which has been socked in with smoke for months now, but also in the Midwest and the Northeast and the East Coast as well. So you can see all these fires and the very poor air quality with these red and, and purple dots. But watch this smoke make its way across the Plain States into the Midwest, Chicago, hazy, smoky skies. Same thing on Saturday into St. Louis and Kansas City, and then eventually all the way to Boston and New York, D.C., all across the uh, Ohio Valley as we head to Sunday. Day. Also, we have um, Hurricane Larry, which is about to make a direct hit on St. John's in Canada. And waves offshore are 50 feet, gusts will be 90, 100 miles an hour as the hurricane moves across. And then, and by the way, it's causing a lot of rough surf across the East Coast right now. That'll subside a little bit over the weekend. But this is the most amazing thing, Lana. This will turn into a mega blizzard. A hurricane turns into a blizzard in Greenland where three to five feet of snow is going to fall. So that's one thing. On the other side of the globe, this is a, a tremendous super typhoon, which is about to hit Taiwan. The winds are 180 miles an hour. So it is a strong Cat 5 hurricane that's about to hit the island of Taiwan over the next 24 hours. So that is a very dangerous storm. And then I'll leave you with this. We're watching the Gulf of Mexico very closely because over the next three days, we could see a tropical depression or tropical storm form and eventually move into Texas. Now, whether or not it forms into a named system, it's going to bring a boatload of tropical moisture first into Texas, then maybe Louisiana, places that don't need the rainfall. Some places could see over a foot of rain, and there is some chance this could become a stronger tropical system as early as early as late Sunday into Monday and Tuesday. So it's going to happen really fast. We need to pay close attention this weekend. 
Extreme weather is putting it mildly. All right, Jeff, thank you. You're welcome.